In part one of our Gone Sailing series of the Down East Circle Route, we sailed our Niagara 35 Fantasia from Coburg on Lake Ontario through the Thousand Islands, St. Lawrence Seaway, Montreal and Quebec City to Gaspé on the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The staff at Jacques Cartier Marine in Gaspé expertly built Fantasia wooden cradle and we stored the boat there over the winter. We are just launching the boat in Gaspé and planning shakedown cruises to Riviera Renard, 30 nautical miles east of here, for the opening of the new Marina Forion, and then on to Ansible Fils, about 60 nautical miles east of there on the Gulf of St. Lawrence. While docked in Ansible Fils, we'll take side trips to the town of Per Se and Rock Per Se and visit Ile Bonaventure and the large Atlantic Gannet colony there. By then we should have our boat and ourselves tuned up a bit and we'll sail from Ansible Fils on a 350 nautical mile round trip out in the Gulf of St. Lawrence to the Madeleine Islands. Once in the Madeleines we'll tour Havre Aubert, La Grave, Cap Amel, and spend a day at the northernmost island of the archipelago, Grand Entrée. Everyone we've spoken to here in Gaspé at Jacques Cartier Marina say it can be windy in the Madeleines so we are anticipating okay. some good sailing. The, uh, this will be our longest saltwater passage so far and we've been looking forward to this adventure all winter. The name Gaspé may be derived from a Mi'kmaq native word for Land's End. The town of Gaspé is located at the head of Gaspé Bay on the Gaspé Peninsula of the province of Quebec. The town has a thriving population of about 15,000 and is one of the oldest settlements in North America. In 1534, French explorer Jacques Cartier is thought to have placed a cross at this location, which soon after became a fishing and supply center for New France. Throughout its early history, Gaspé was the site of numerous altercations between the French and English. During World War II, Gaspé was the site of a Canadian Navy base, and German U-boats were thought to have prowled the bay. Today the Navy base is closed and the area is largely French-speaking. Marina Jacques Cartier is located within walking distance of town and provides many services including a fuel dock, seasonal docking and haul out and storage facilities. Adjacent to the marina is a sailing school and just outside the marina area is the train station with connections to Quebec, Montreal and Toronto. We sailed around the bay to check for any boat related issues and then spent the night at anchor before heading out into the Gulf of St. Lawrence 30 miles up to Riviere au Renard. The protected inner bay west of the spit, Havre de Gas Bay, affords excellent sailing. The winds tend to be local and blow out of the bay in the morning, then in in the afternoon. The extreme inner bay, Bassin du Nord, is not recommended for sailing and contains numerous aquaculture sites where mules or mussels are being farmed. Across from the town on the north side of Havre de Gas Bay is Pointe de Penoule Park, also an excellent sandy beach with several miles of walking trails. Once you pass the red and green boys that mark the northern end of the sand spit, you are in the large outer bay. Bay de Gas Bay proper is more than 4 miles wide, 11 miles long and often quite windy. We'll sail out to Cap Gaspé, then parallel the coast passing Forillon National Park on our way up to Fox River.